Good morning, everyone. I'm going to share with you today a new template that we've got in the Cardsmith Templates Library. I called it the OKRs template, and what that stands for is Objectives and Key Results. And this is a system that was invented at Intel and then widely used in Google, and it's great for keeping your team aligned, so we make sure we're all on the same sort of goals and direction, and it's great for accountability because everybody gets to see what everybody's key results are and objectives are. It's great for transparency, and it's also good for stability, which I think in a startup is really important because sometimes we can change our direction a little too often. So what we've set up here in this template is a quarterly cycle around the concept of OKRs. And what I wanna to do today is just describe to you how to use this template board. Now there's lots of different ways you might set up an OKR board for your team. I, this is one way. I'm gonna walk you through it. I think it's a good way, but you know, feel free to experiment. That's what Cardsmith is all about. All right, so I have copied this template board into my account and at the end I'll show you how to do that if you don't know but most people know how to do the template board copy in so I'm just going to get going and this is what the template board starts out as let me just describe to you how to use a template board quickly um, we've tried to add plenty of instructions so here you can read about OKRs and why they're amazing and how you might want to use them we've got links to other information um, and then instructions for setting up your quarterly objectives and key results are here. Basically what we've got for each person, um, I've set up rows for each person. And so row one is Mary and Mary has one objective card for the quarter. And if we open that up, you can see her objectives are to grow email subscribers so that we increase the top of our funnel to support our sales growth goals. Well, you'll notice this objective is somewhat vague. I mean, this is definitely Mary's responsibility. This is what she needs to be working on. Um, but then what we need to do is set up some key results that are going to support her meeting this objective. So with key results, there's two different kinds. There's essentially the kind that are going to be measurable. So those are metrics type of goals. And here you can see a metric type of key result, um, grow email subscribers two times. So in the quarter, her key result, which is a metric, is going to be to grow our subscribers of our email list from 200 to 400. Very specific, it's time bound, it's for this particular quarter. Now, how is she going to do that? There are other kind of key results that are more project-based. So she's going to implement a pop-up on the website, probably to invite people to sign up for the uh, email list. And then she's going to test and do these three different landing pages. So at the end of the quarter, we can not only measure the metric, did she actually achieve that growth goal, but we can also measure and these two different project goals. Did we accomplish the pop-up? Did we do the three landing pages? And perhaps if those things get done early, we can add more key results. This is not set in stone, but this is to set the general direction of the company and so that everybody knows what Mary's gonna be focused on. And at the end of the quarter, we can review how she did and there's things about grading your key results and your objectives and the information um, supporting this board gets more into that. All right, so what happens then is we're going to break down these key results into tasks. And so essentially for doing the pop-up, we've got a couple tasks, examples here, reach up, reach, research the pop-up plugin tools, and here's another task, we're gonna write some landing page copy. Now, at the beginning of the quarter, you might try to write all the tasks down um, you're probably not going to be able to think of everything. Maybe you don't even really know how to start. You've never done a landing page before, so you're not going to know all the tasks. But in the beginning, you're in week one. You're going to create the tasks that you know about. You're going to then um, plan out your week by moving a reasonable number of tasks into your tasks for this week. Um, we've actually set up in this board an estimated hours, so you'll notice the each task card has an estimated hours. I can use that to try to, I guess, scope out how much I think I can get done this week. And typically we recommend that you try to plan about 75% of your available hours so that you leave some time for unforeseen things and for helping the rest of your team. Um, but yeah, you can use that estimated hours to kind of help you plan. Um, 
And then essentially it's a like a little bit of a Kanban. You're you're staging your stuff here though in the tasks and then when you're done, you're moving things into done. Now there's one thing about this board. I've actually created 13 weeks. You might choose to date these weeks. You can do that by, you know, I could put this in September 1 to 7 if you want to rename that. And uh, then we'll just move this into done here. When week one is over, what we might want to do is hide this column just to kind of get it out of the way. And now we've got week two. And you'll notice we've got all of these other weeks out here that I've hidden just so we can stay focused on the current week or two that we're working with. Now, um, at the end of the quarter, and this is very important for the OKR system, is you're going to want to do a quarterly review. And so you might set aside um, your regular weekly meeting where your team is going to go through this board and review the tasks and review what how you're doing. Um, you may want to reserve that final week for doing your quarterly review where you're going to look at everything that got done, did the objectives or key results that are metrics based get accomplished and if so if not why not how can we learn all of that kind of great stuff that is going to be done in uh, the quarterly review all right that is pretty much covering it um, let me know if you have questions of course you can add more people um, I believe the default card here is set to be the task card um, and what happens, what that means is if I add a new card, we assume it's going to be the task card. And all that means is that this estimated hours field is available for you. And if I can spell, um, that is accomplished by setting the default card. So if you want to add more fields, notes, things like that to help your team communicate, you would add those fields to one of the cards and then say set as default cards. I felt like the task card is the card that you're going to create the most of and so that was the default card that I selected. Now if you have created this board and you want to share it with your team you would use the share your board and you can share it um, invite your team members to come in with you. You'll need their email address that is there and then finally Let's show you how to create this board from a template. So we're going to go to the home board, which is here. Clicking on this gets you to the home board. And then create from template. And if I scroll to the bottom, you can see our template library. And I added this board to the entrepreneur section. I could have put it in Teams, but I put it in entrepreneurs. And you just click on that. That opens it up. You can read about it, see an image. If you like this board, click on it here. It's going to bring that into your account as view only. And then what we're going to do is copy that board. And now it's in my own account. And so you can see now I have two copies of that template board. And let's go into it. And now this is my OKRs template. I'll probably change this to say Cardsmith Q4 OKRs or something like that. And then really the secret here is um, in planning what the objectives are and making sure things are aligned across the business, um, setting up metrics, measurable objectives or key results there, and project key results as well that we can measure. And then um, doing that weekly review. So getting your team together weekly, reviewing the board and discussing how you can help each other. Um, that's going to make your team a more trusted team, a more collaborative team, and get you on your way to achieving your results. All right, good luck. Thanks a lot. And leave me any questions in the comments.